Kalman decomposition. A linear system, uh, continuous or discrete time, can always be decomposed into different subsystems that are either controllable or observable or non-controllable and observable and so on. This is summarized by this picture. Uh, so we can see that there is uh, no path from U to the system when they are not controllable and the same. When it is non-observable, there is no path from uh, non-observable to Y. So I will explain this here. So I assume that I take, uh, I start from U, the input. Normally I can choose as I want and Y correspond to the sensors, to what I measure of the system. So if it is controllable, uh, it means from U, I can change the state. In this picture, we see that O means observable, C means controllable, and when there is a bar like this, it means non-observable and non-controllable. So if I start from you, I see everywhere I can reach. I can reach this system, I can reach this one, either by here or by here. I can reach here uh, the sum, re y, and uh, that's all. That's all. So I can see that I can reach this one and I can reach this one. Both there is a C like controllable. Okay, but we can understand that from you I am not able to reach this part of the system and this part of the system. That's why I have a bar over the C. Now I would like to know which subsystem can reach Y. If I'm here, I can reach Y like this. Uh, if I am here, I can also reach Y. So if I go back backward from Y, I am able to reach this one, to reach this one, to reach U, and that's all. It means that I am not able to, uh, to go from this one or this one to Y. The system that I can reach are uh, this one and this one. I can get th some information from them, but I am not able to observe this one. That is why I have a bar over the O. So I think this uh, system is quite uh, intuitive and I see some zones, such as this one, that can happen. I cannot affect the state of this subsystem and I can, uh, cannot have any information on it. So it is equivalent as it is, does not exist. The only part that is observable and controllable is this part. We now consider a system descri described by the following state equation. So I can see that I, re I have a lot of zeros and it corresponds to what we call a Kalman decomposition of a system. It means that uh, if I choose the right state, if I define in a system which is linear, the state are according, are accordingly. Uh, I can find a base for the state such as I have this decomposition. And what I will do now is to create a link between this matrix decomposition and the uh, decomposition just previously seen. So this is my decomposition, and I will try now to draw uh, the to to draw uh, the diagram corresponding to this matrix equation. I have U here, and from U I am able to reach different points. First, I am able from this decomposition to reach D. 
and I go to a sum like this to create y. Now I have different states x1, x2, x3, x4. So there may be sub vectors, for instance. So I choose here the state for x1, 1 for x2, it is an integrator. x3 x4 so for all integrators in front of it I have the derivative x.1 and so on so here it will be x.4 okay now I can see that for all of them, there is their proper feedback here, here. So I will represent them. Here I add something and I have at least one one which come back like this. Here A22. Two two. the sum a three three and a four four okay so now from this equation, I can see that I have some links with the other states. So I will probably first draw B1, which relates X1 and X3 to the input. So here I have B1 and here B3. from you yeah, this and B3 here which goes here okay this is done this is done probably I will write also this one and this one since they are easy so I will have C1 C2 like this go both go to the sum And now I have also some links with the other states. So th this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. So I will draw them. Uh, so A12, I will represent like this. A12, which goes here and takes X2. As an input. Okay. Now I have x3 which receive uh, uh, everybody. So here I will have um, uh, x1 which goes uh, here to to get a31 goes here. Here I will have A32 which takes this one and goes also to the sum and also here A34 which takes this one to go to the sum. And the last one is a42 or here A42 which enter here and goes here okay now that's all
I can now form different blocks. So the blocks I will try to draw like this for the decomposition. So I have here this so and this and this. For the other one I will have this like this. Now for X3 I have this. And for the last one I have this. So from this I can see that uh, this part here I can reach x1 from u and y and this is why I could say that this one is observable and controllable. This one I can reach y but I cannot reach this block from u so it will be observable and non-controllable. This one will be non-observable but controllable and this one is neither observable neither controllable. So this explains why the decomposition here can uh, is linked to what has been previously, previously said and if I have a system which is linear such as x dot equal ax plus bu y equal cx plus du of course everything will be mixed in a b c and d but i can change uh, i can change the state so that i can get this decomposition so it is a, a theorem from kalman where this is why the this decomposition is called the kalman decomposition